So how should you illustrate the procedure? Here is the technique. Step number one, you underline the important points from the procedure that are possible for you to illustrate. For example, in experiment one, procedure step number one, wear the crucible and record the exact mass. So what are the points that are important and possible for you to illustrate? So it will be wear the crucible. And in step number two, place approximately 0.25 gram of zinc powder into the crucible and determine the exact mass of zinc powder. So for this step, what are the points that are possible for you to illustrate? So it will be place the approximately 0.25 gram of zinc powder into the crucible. Step number two, illustrate the points. How to illustrate where the crucible? Where means we need a balance, weighing balance. So first, we draw a 2D weighing balance with crucible and the lid on top of it. So this is step number one. Step number two, still the same as in picture number one, but now with 0.25 gram of zinc powder inside the crucible. So how to draw this? Still having the balance, crucible and the lid, but with zinc powder placed in the crucible. Step number three, label the diagrams. In first picture, we have the crucible and the lid. So label the crucible and the lid. And in the second pictures, we have lid crucibles and approximately 0.25 gram of zinc powder. Step number four, add in the arrows to show the directions of the flow of your illustrations. If you have never seen the apparatus before, how could you do the illustrations? Not to worry, don't forget that you all are being given the video of each experiment. So you just need to watch the particular video to get an idea of the experiment and to do illustrations for your jotter. You might not know, you possible to have this hidden talent and you can surprise yourself, friends and lecturers with your amazing drawing. In the last step of jotter preparations, you are being asked to construct a table. How to construct a table? Here is the technique. Step number one, tick on the steps which require you to record certain physical quantities or observation. For example, in experiment one, procedure step number one asks you to wear the crucible and record the exact mass. So record the exact mass. It's very straightforward. This step requires you to record the mass. So tick first. In step number two, place approximately 0.25 gram of zinc powder into the crucible and determine the exact mass of zinc powder. So in step number two, it's not very straightforward, but also require you to record masses. Then only you can determine the mass of zinc powder. So underline and tick. From step number three until step number six, there are no physical quantities, measure or observations that require us to record. So we don't need to tick those steps, but in step number seven, cover the crucible and allow it to cool to room temperature, then where the crucible and the compound record the mass. So in this step, it is very straightforward, ask us to wear the crucible and the compound and record the mass after the first heating. So we need to take these steps. In step number eight, we heat the crucible to dry the compound, let it cool to room temperature and then wear it again. So wear it again means that you need to record the mass again after second heating. So take this step and then repeat the procedure until the difference in mass does not exceed 0.02 gram. So means that required third heating. After the third heating, you cool it down, wear it again and record the mass. So take as well for this step. And then in step number nine, after you get the mass of zinc chloride, you need to determine the mass of chlorine. So also take this step. In step number one, we already identified the steps which require us to record the physical quantity. Now, we just need to refer back to those steps and circle the items of interest and determine the physical quantity that we would like to record. For example, in step number one, the item that we are interested in is crucible and the lead and we would like to record their mass. And the second item that we are interested in is zinc powder, crucible and the lid and also we want to record their mass. And the third item is 
zinc powder and we would like to determine the mass of zinc powder. The fourth item that we are interested in is crucible lead and the compound after first heating. We would like to record their mass. We are also interested with the masses of crucible lead and the compound after second and the third heating. The fifth item that we are interested in is chlorine. We would like to know the mass of chlorine from the zinc chloride compound. After we have identified all the items that we are interested in and also their physical quantity, then we can construct the table by listing out the items of interest and a column to record the physical quantity that we are going to measure.